Okay, so let's jump in and take a look at the handwriting pages, the new feature in Tangent Templates. So I'm going to leave my trim size at 8.5 by 11, that's the US letter size. By default, we're going to leave bleed turned on and margins. Yeah, it'll be under 150 pages for a handwriting book. So let's begin. Now, what we're going to do, let's open up one that I made earlier. You can see what you can do with this. So these are four pages here. I think it took me about 20 minutes to make these. So about five minutes per page. It's really quite quick to do this. So here's a simple ABC. And then there's an A is for Apple. I put some planets in here because you can do fun things like this. And Here's like a Halloween party. So you can really theme your pages. Like you can do anything with this. And as with everything, it's all about niche. It's all about coming up with original ideas, finding your own way to put a spin on things. Like there's no reason why you have to stick with A is for apple, B is for ball, C is for cat. You can theme this to anything you like, to cars, to spaceships, like we did with the planets here. You could tailor it to pretty much anything kids are into. And now maybe you could do like video games. Be careful with copyright, of course, and trademarks. Always be careful with other people's intellectual property. But you could do things like a dance book. You could put dance moves in here, like for kids that are really into ballet. You can make a sports themed handwriting book, clothes themed, whatever kids are into. Aliens, monsters, pirates anything you can think of. And the reason for that is kids are going to enjoy learning more and they're going to enjoy doing things like this if it reflects their interests. So you can make handwriting pages about all kinds of topics, like the Halloween party. You can make a seasonal activity book just like that. So I'm going to show you how this works. So let's go in and add a new page. Now we also added a few new presets. We've got handwriting paper, cursive Greg and Pittman shorthand. So you can have different types of lined paper as your preset. But for this, I'm just going to choose a blank page. And this is the way it works. So you go to text and you'll see at the bottom, if you scroll down in fonts, we have some new fonts. So the first thing I'll show you before I show you the handwriting is I just want to show you this open dyslexic font. So let me just type tangent templates. And I can select open dyslexic, make it a little bit bigger so you can see what it is. And we actually had a request for this. Open dyslexic is an open source font that makes supposedly makes text easier to read for some people with dyslexia and we were asked to, to add this to tangent templates it was easy to do so there it is so you now have the open dyslexic font in there but let's talk now about handwriting so i'm going to select this and i'm going to select tangent handwriting see that it's it's tangent handwriting and what we did we actually got a font designed exclusively for tangent templates. It's based off educational research. So you can see it has things like a closed A. It doesn't have like the, the type of A that you might see usually in, in Word or in books because kids learn to draw with these big round closed A's. So we've done a lot of things like that and this is how it works. So there's the basic font, the, the solid handwriting font. So I'm going to copy and paste that and what you can see is we also offer a dashed version of it. Cool! So that's what it looks like uh, dashed. We can pull that out a bit and open it up like that. We'll do the same with this one. And what I'm going to do is actually left align that and left align that one. And let's move these like that. Okay, and I'm going to copy and paste that again. And this time I want to show you something really neat. We have added arrow fonts. So what this means, if I make this bigger, you can see it a little clearer on the screen. It actually has guidelines for how you should draw these letters. 
The other thing that we have done with this is we have included backlines. So if you want to give an example, what you can do is select the tangent handwriting with backline and check it out. It has added the backlines behind it, the guidelines. So uh, that would make for a really nice example text. And then underneath it, you can put the dashed version also with a backline. So you can see there are several versions of the text here. But that's really all there is to it. You can add some spaces. We have put a few special keys in here if you want to do some tighter editing on this. If you look under the font box here, there's a link that says about our fonts. And this explains a little bit more. It tells you about the new open dyslexia font we added. And it also tells you about the tangent handwriting fonts. And you can see here, we've added some special characters. So if you want to create a space with the guidelines behind it, you just press the space bar. If you want to create a space without any guidelines, like you want to leave a gap, you can just use the forward arrow key. Or if you want to create a short space with the guidelines, you can use the left arrow key. You can see here that they're, they're like the little arrows, uh, less than and greater than signs. We also offer two types of four, number four. The default is a closed four, but if you would like to type an open four, use the tilde key. So what that means, actually, if I just uh, start a new uh, space there, I'll show you the difference. So a four... That's the default four is a closed four. If you would like to type a uh, open four, you can use the tilde key. So you have both choices, really. We know that some teachers prefer the closed ones, some prefer the open ones. We've got dollar signs in there. We've got several punctuation marks. So you can type things like this, quotes around things. We have all the arithmetic that you would expect. So there's a lot of things you can do with this. You can really customize it. And of course, you can add images. And we have a ton of images for you to choose from. I love all the cute little characters, um, like this guy. He's kind of fun. And uh, you don't want him in the purple space there. So we can move things around. Don't forget, you have all these options to align things. When you select text, you can distribute evenly, make sure everything's lined up. You can align things to the right, left. There's all sorts of options here. So there's a lot you can do with this. I hope you have a lot of fun using this and making your handwriting pages. I encourage you to get creative. I encourage you to look for niches. I mean, it doesn't really matter what you can do. I mean, I think you could even do things like sweary handwriting books for kids. You could do like P is for poop. Whatever helps kids learn, whatever they have fun with. Maybe make one about cats or dogs, unicorns, princesses, robots, whatever you can think of. Have a lot of fun with this and I look forward to hearing what you think of this. I hope you enjoy all the new features, the additions we've made to Tangent Templates. We do have more on the way. We know you guys have been sending us so many suggestions, so much feedback, so many things you want to see in this, and we are working super hard on it. We have a lot more things to come with Tangent Templates, and we really appreciate the support that you guys have shown for this tool, and stay in touch with us. Support at tangent.rocks. If you have any feedback, any comments, any ideas, anything you'd like to see in Tangent Templates, we are listening and we hope you have a great time with this. All right, guys. Bye.